Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Magic Trackpad 1 and compare it against the Apple Magic Trackpad 2 and see which particular trackpad and see which particular trackpad is the better one for you. Now this is what I'll start off with as respectfully as I can go, it doesn't make really any sense to buy a Magic Trackpad 1 anymore. I think these things were good when they first came out, but since the Magic Trackpad 2 came out, it doesn't make any sense at all to buy a trackpad like that. You are substantially better off purchasing a trackpad, like a Magic Trackpad 2 or the current generation trackpad, rather than this one. It just doesn't make any sense to go and buy a trackpad like that in my personal opinion. So keep that in mind. If you do want to pick up a trackpad that I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both of these, the first thing to keep in mind is that within both these trackpads, they're both very good and they have a, you know, they're kind of doing the same thing. So they allow you to go ahead and interact with your computer. You can go through and you can, you know, kind of drag things around and move the cursor around and they both support like multi-gesture, you know, designs at the very top. And I think it's more similar than not, at least from the top portion. Now the trackpad 2 is longer than the trackpad 1, which is kind of nice. It also sits lower, which I think is more comfortable to hold. And I think it is a nicer layout on the Magic Trackpad 2. The trackpad 1, you have the portion where you can kind of interact with. Then the top, like maybe like 5% of it is like a little tab that goes throughout the top. So you can go through and like, that's not really interactive, but Beyond that, I mean, it is a really nice thing that you can kind of use both. Now, with the trackpad 2, this is a vibration motor that's built in. So when you're going through and you're actually clicking in, it's a vibration motor, it's not a clicking thing. The Magic Trackpad 1, it's an actual clicking mechanism that clicks in while you click it. So that can be kind of an annoying thing for some people. The fact that that it's in like an actual button. So I know I, for one, am kind of annoyed by it sometimes. In this case, again, that's just one thing to keep in mind here. It's not a deal breaker or anything, but there's just one thing that we notice at that moment. So once again, kind of keep that in mind, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. There's a power button on the side of the Magic Trackpad 1, and there's also a battery slot on the Magic Trackpad 1, whereas on the Trackpad 2, it's literally just a charging, you know, cable, a little charging cord that you plug in at the back. This is what I'll tell you about this, right? This is by far the biggest reason why I would go from something like a Magic Trackpad 1 to a 2, and that is the batteries. Having to constantly like plug in and out batteries and having to deal with that can be one of the most annoying things of all time. And I just really don't like it. I'm just not a fan of it. And I probably would tell you not to do that either because it can be kind of, you know, a cumbersome kind of annoying thing. So that's just an annoying thing that kind of ends up happening here. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but that is just one kind of minor thing to kind of keep in mind there. With the Magic Trackpad 1, you have to constantly deal with that. And that right there, again, can be a very annoying thing that you're going to have to deal with from time to time. So just keep that in mind. Again, not the biggest deal in the world, but just one thing to keep in mind there. On the bottom, there's not really too much going on. You just have like Apple logos on the back. The thing with the Magic Trackpad 1 is that it does kind of give you like a little opening slot, which allows you to go through and like slide things underneath or something like that. But even that, I probably wouldn't even recommend doing that because that's like another annoying thing that can end up happening there. So that's just another thing that kind of add on top of everything else. So that kind of covers it up on the outside, right? Some other smaller things to keep in mind is that with the trackpad one, I don't know if it's compatible with like every single Mac that's out just because it is significantly older. It can be, you know, maybe it's not supported on the Mac that you're per, you know, currently buying. If your Mac supports, if your PC supports wireless, you know, mouses, this thing's supported too. But, you know, I will say it is kind of annoying having to go through and plug in batteries over and over and over again. That right there can be a very annoying thing. And I know for a lot of people, if you're going to go through and if you're going to like plug in batteries, it can be a very annoying thing that you have to deal with. So although it's not the biggest deal in the world, it's just something kind of to keep in mind in the back of your head. And that right there is just one thing to keep in mind there. So I would say overall, if I'm going to go ahead and pick up some trackpad, it's going to be the trackpad too. That one makes so much more sense to go ahead and buy. And I would 1 million percent recommend buying something like a Magic Trackpad 2 over a Magic Trackpad 1 any day of the week. It makes so much more sense. And that is the one I'd recommend every single person to buy. So if you want to pick it up, links are down in the description. If you want to get them from there, you can get them from there and help support the channel at the exact same time. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.